and I'm Jesse Dollar. But here is a little smattering of the very not racist, very worthy of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, Rush Limbaugh. So, nigga, with an A on the end, well, I think I can now. Isn't that the point? Because it's not racist. That's the point. I could be talking about a male. I could be t- a Chinese male, a guy at the laundromat. I could be talking about a man. A little history lesson for you. If any race of people should not have guilt about slavery, it's Caucasians. The white race has probably had fewer slaves and for a briefer period of time than any other in the history of the world. No other race has ever fought a war for the purpose of ending slavery, which we did. Nearly 600,000 people killed in the Civil War. It's preposterous that Caucasians are blamed for slavery when they've done more to end it than any other race. Let me put it to you this way. The NFL all too often looks like a game between the Bloods and the Crips without any weapons. What kind of class is that? (laughs) Zero class. Meanwhile, Al Sharpton goes out the front door. Yes, I spoke a little Negro dialect there. I can do that when I uh, when I want to. Al Sharpton goes out and in the front door. In and out the front door. You put your kids on a school bus, you expect you expect safety, but in Obama's America, the white kids now get beat up with the black kids cheering. Yeah, right on, right on, right on. That sounds like a hate crime. And Trayvon Martin starts pummeling Zimmerman. George Steinbrenner has passed away at age 80. That cracker made a lot of African-American millionaires. Folks, there's, there's, a, there's actually a debate going on. On ESPN and throughout the sports world over who can use the N-word when and how and who can't when and how. It is these wackos from Bill Ayers to Jeremiah Wright to other anti-American, Afrocentric, black liberation theologists working with Acorn and Barack Obama is smack dab in the middle of it. They have been training young black kids to hate, hate, hate this country. And they trained their parents before that to hate, hate, hate this country. Presidential Medal of Freedom. Is, are the things that you just heard, would they embody an especially meritorious contribution to the United States or the interest of the people of the United States? Maybe for Donald Trump, when, you know, there were very good people on both sides. The Nazis, yeah, good people over there. Maybe for Donald Trump, but I, I, don't, I, I dare say not for the rest of the country. Some of the vile things... His use of the N-word. That white people shouldn't feel guilty about slavery. Now listen, that's a charged word, guilty. But in it, packed in there, is him saying that we should actually be celebrated, white people, for ending slavery. Completely ignoring the hundreds of years of rape and murder and torture an enslavement. It's sickening. His Al Sharpton impression. It doesn't stop there, though. Obviously, having a black president for eight years sent Rush Limbaugh into a tizzy. Here are just a sampling of Rush Limbaugh talking about Obama. First president in history, to my knowledge anyway, who actually wants his nation to fail. Obama wants to create an illegal alien bill of rights. We're not governed by people who do not like the country. Who is Obama? Why is he doing this? Why? why? He wouldn't have been voted president if he weren't black. How many?
many people really think of Obama as black? He's not from the hood. He's not from the movement. They have discovered that Obama does have slave blood. Slave blood. Rush Limbaugh is a hateful individual. Here's another clip. Watch this clip, him talking about foreigners and immigrants. Everybody's making immigration proposals these days. Let me add mine to the mix. Call it the Limbaugh laws. First, you immigrate to our country, you have to speak the native language. You have to be a professional or an investor. No unskilled workers allowed. Also, There'll be no special bilingual programs in the schools with the limbo laws, no special ballots for elections, no government business will be conducted in your language. Foreigners will not have the right to vote or hold political office. If you're in our country, you cannot be a burden to taxpayers. You are not entitled to welfare or food stamps or other government goodies. You can come if you invest here, an amount equal to 40,000 times a daily minimum wage. If not, stay home. But if you want to buy land, it'll be restricted. No waterfront, for instance. And as a foreigner, you have to relinquish individual rights to the property. And another thing, you don't have the right to protest. You're allowed no demonstrations, no foreign flag waving, no political organizing, no bad mouthing our president or his policies. You're a foreigner. Shut your mouth or get out. And if you come here illegally, you're going to jail. Listen, I absolutely believe that we should strive to be better than the haters like Donald Trump and MAGA Americans, MAGA hat wearers, racists. So I'm not going to celebrate. I don't believe we should celebrate that, that uh, Rush Limbaugh has cancer. I, I, I believe that that is uh, not good, terrible, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not, not even in a sideways way. We should not do that. But I also, on the same side of the same coin, believe that Rush Limbaugh's views and his statements and the things that he's made hundreds of millions of dollars over the years saying shouldn't also be brushed under the rug. Listen to him here talking about the Indians. And how he believes that he, he wants his reparations because of all of the hundreds of thousands and millions of people who have died of cancer because of the Indians, American Indians, native peoples here, their invention of tobacco. How many Native Americans, how many Indians were killed by the arrival of the white man through disease and war? And how many people have died since the white man arrived here due to lung cancer, thanks to the Indian invented custom of smoking tobacco. Who are the real killers here? Where are our reparations? Speaking of not showing others dignity, here is a clip of Rush Limbaugh the provider of especially meritorious contributions to the interest in the people of the United States and recipient of the latest Presidential Medal of Freedom discussing Michael J. Fox, who is suffering from Parkinson's, calling him a faker, intimating that he is a liar on his radio show. In this commercial, he is exaggerating the effects of the disease. He is moving all around and shaking, and it's purely an act. This is the only time I have ever seen Michael J. Fox portray any of the symptoms of the disease he had. He can control himself enough to stay in the frame of the picture, and he can control himself enough to keep his eyes right on the lens, the teleprompter but his head and shoulders are moving all over the place. So this is really shameless, folks. This is really shameless of Michael J. Fox. Either he didn't take his medication or he's acting. What do you do? What do you do with something like that? Listen, it didn't take me long. And there are hundreds of other things that are vile, 
disrespectful, unacceptable that he has done and said. And he stands there in the gallery of the United States House of Representatives and is awarded the highest civilian honor that could be given. It tells you everything you need to know about who Donald Trump is, about the things that are prized in Trump's Republican Party and by his supporters and by his followers. I am going to leave it there. And uh, I'll see you next time.